I was thinking. What if there was cheat codes for real life? And just like that, in another dimension, cheat codes existed. Hey. Hmm. Never mind. Cheat codes have been around since the dawn of video games. I mean, they used to be a lot more prevalent back in the day, though. I mean, you got stuff like cheat code books and, and magazines all over the place. That's how you got your information. Does anyone remember Cheat Planet? I remember Cheat Planet! So I thought, hey, it might be fun to make a list of cheat codes. Was I... was I wrong? Was, was I wrong? No, no, was I... no, was I... Top 10 Cheat Codes in Video Games! Oh man, I don't even know how I even died. Okay, so I figured I might as well get this out of the way right away. The Contra Code, or the Konami Code. Because the company name is, is Konami, also known as Up Up Down Down Left Right Left Right BA Select Start. You've probably heard of it before. In fact, a lot of you probably would have expected this to be number one on the lists, or even number two, but there's a reason that I didn't do that. It's because obvious is obvious. And I want to explore some of the more interesting and fun codes that maybe you haven't heard of yet. It's like going to your parents' party, you gotta pay your dues, you gotta sh shake the hands of all of the people that are there. This is not a good analogy. But the Konami code is such an important and fun code that I was still torn about not including it on the list. I mean, it's an awesome code. Put it in Contra, you get more lives. Which doesn't help me even a little bit. Put it in Gradius, you get... You get, you get good, yeah! What is it that it does again? I don't remember. The code is so famous at this point that it's like a parody in almost everything. Put it in Metal Gear. This happens. What do you think you're doing? Cool. You can even put the code in on websites. Let's go to dig. Mm, all right, let's go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, S. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and do it on the UK version of the Wired site. Usually there's something weird that happens. Oh, well, that's a dinosaur, all right. The Nan Cat? Really? One of my favorite new uses of this code has to be from a newer Adventure Time game. Simply put in the Konami code at the title screen and... Secret screen. This is the secret, secret screen. Ba da 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 secret screen. Me, me, this read secret screen. <laughs> Rogue Squadron has to be one of my favorite flight action games that I've played on the N64. Well, I also like it because it's Star Wars, and I really like Star Wars, and I really like Star Wars. But it also has a surprisingly good amount of cheat codes. You can pilot the Millennium Falcon by typing in Farm Boy at the passcode screen. Aw oh, yeah, Millennium Falcon, baby. Whoops! And you can pilot the Nabu Starfighter, which is actually insane because that was put in the game before Episode 1 was even out, and it wasn't even known until way after that it was part of the game. Well, I thought it was pretty cool. By typing in the code CHICKEN, you can even play an ATSC level. I'm coming for ya! No! But my favorite code has to be the Cadillac code. By simply typing in Coelsh at the password screen, you can make your V-Wing into a car. I like this code so much because it just seems so out of place. It's like, what if, what if this actually showed up to a real battle? It'd be, it'd be like, Red 5, standing by. Red 3, standing by. Ah, hey guys, it's me, Billy. Sorry I'm late. I got my dad's Cadillac from his garage. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna be so mad when he finds out. Anyway, are you ready for this shit? It's just so out of place and out of character for the Star Wars universe, and that's why it's so great. It's not every day you can fly around in a Cadillac shooting down TIE fighters and whatnot. And in a galaxy far, far away, this is what I imagine is probably happening. Metroid is not a game I've played from start to finish. I'm not even gonna try to lie about that. Maybe 2D maze-like games just aren't my thing. Where do I go? Oh. Regardless though, Metroid may have one of the most important cheat codes ever created. And all you have to do is go to the password screen, type in Justin Bailey, and fill in the rest with dashes. And you'll be presented with a powered up Samus with almost nearly every power in the game and a crap ton of missiles. And, well, no suit. And that's really what caused so much hype back in the day. Nobody actually knew back then that when they were playing through the game, you were actually playing as a girl. Well, unless you completed the game 100%. I mean, you were running around the whole time in an orange suit. Who was gonna know?
People's minds were freaking blown! It made strides everywhere because that was one of the first female playable characters. It spread through the gaming community like wildfires. So it was like, you know, like the two people that were in it, into games then. It does, however, look like she's in a bikini, and there are a few rumors and theories floating around as to why that is. It's said that the origins of Bailey may be a English or Australian slang term, and in short, meaning bathing suit, which is why she's maybe in a bikini. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, crap, I made this joke. is a somewhat interesting case because you don't really input cheat codes. You earn them. You want rockets? Earn it. You want god mode? Earn it. You want the mythical golden gun? Earn it. And some of the challenges were actually pretty ridiculous. I mean, most of them were just time trial completion bonuses or a completion bonus for beating a level of the game. The one that definitely stuck out to me the most was beating facility in two minutes and five seconds or less on the harder difficulties. When I was doing this, I was just a stupid kid. I'm way smarter now. I bet I could do it. Just crawl through the little hole in the wall and... Oh man! So close! Ironically enough, I feel like I might need cheats just to unlock the cheats now. Some of the more fun cheats in this game ended up being just the weapon codes, so you can just go around and use your weapon of choice on anything you want. And for Jeff's pro tip of the day, don't forget to turn on paintball mode. That's essential. I mean, you need that turned on to be able to write hidden messages to your YouTube audience. One of the more fun things you can do is just turn on invincibility and do, well, whatever you want. I'm gonna knife throw this guy. Just hold on. And go! Okay, and go! And, okay, and go! Okay, seriously, go! There we go. But I think my favorite code from Goldeneye has to be the simplicity and the hilarity of the DK mode code. All rhyming aside, it basically just makes people's heads very large. And that's funny. Bond's gotta get off the train. But good luck with that with your big stupid head, you dingus. One of my favorite things to do is to mix the DK code with the slow-mo code. Just look how long it takes for this one guy to die. Hey there, buddy. You alright? You doing alright? Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep lasering you. You just tell me when you want me to stop. I'll stop. Just tell me when. Tell me when. No, don't. Okay. Oh, there goes your hat. I'll go get that for you. Hold on. But as I learned, cheaters never prosper. At least when they don't have god mode on. Sports games usually have a lot of codes. Sometimes they're displayed straight on the screen, like in NFL Blitz. Alright, I'm gonna put in a cheat code. What? No code? Aw, oh, man. Some of my favorite codes have to be from the NBA Jam series, though. Going all the way back to the Super Nintendo, you have fun codes that let you dunk from anywhere on the screen. Yeah! But for my money, some of the more hilarious codes come from the newer versions of NBA Jam. Have you ever wanted to play as our nation's Democrats and Republicans? Wait, no? Oh, crap. Well, now you can! Press left 13 times, then plus and minus, and you'll unlock the Democrats Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, and Hillary Clinton. By pressing right 13 times, then plus and minus, you'll unlock the Republicans John McCain, Sarah Palin, George Bush, and Dick Cheney. Then you can settle the score how it was meant to be settled. With a slam jam. This is just how all politics should be settled from now on. This is infinitely more entertaining. In my mind, nothing beats an alley-oop completed by Obama. Shovel Knight is almost like a collaboration of all those great NES classics like Mega Man, Castlevania, DuckTales. It clearly takes a small bit of inspiration from all over the place. But in doing so, it creates its own unique thing and it's a blast to play if you haven't played it. And as traditional old school games go, it has a lot of cheats. In fact, there's a compiled list online that has over 300 cheat codes already. Whoa, hey, that's a lot of cheats. That's, that's a lot of cheats? That's a lot of cheats. So naturally, I tried every single one of them. Except for maybe about 300. So here's some of my favorites! Just go to create a file and it's time to start putting in codes. How about this one? TRGSVPPW. GIANT! I'll save you, princess. Oh, wait. I mean, Shield Knight. How <laughs> about those ceilings, right, guys? <laughs> Let's play Spot the Shovel Knight! Wherever could he be? Oh, man. 
That was close. Just wait for round two, it's a doozy. How about STQQTXVX? This code just makes you super fast and jump really high and basically become indestructible and you attack really fast. So, it's a lot of fun. Wee! My battle with the Black Knight was fierce. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hey ya! Bye. What's. Oh. Oh. Did I break it? In a similar vein, you have this code, TVSVUEIO. It pretty much does the same thing, except for this time you have everything unlocked already. You're slightly bigger, you're invincible, and every time you jump, you change sprites. And what's great is stuff like this is possible. Well, my favorite code from the game actually has to be the butt code. It's as juvenile and hilarious as you would expect. It essentially just replaces words and names with butt, which makes for some great gameplay. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Butt Butt and Shield Butt. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet brought a terrible butt. Oh no. Turn back, Butt Butt. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Butt. I've no quarrel with you. This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress and her invincible butts of the Order of No Quarter. So let's fight, yeah. Mortal Kombat has had an interesting history of cheat codes. There's the now famous blood code for the original Mortal Kombat on the Sega Genesis, allowing you to see the game in all its gory glory. There's different cheat codes for different versions of the game. But let's go ahead and go to my favorite version of the game, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. It is the definitive version of the old school Mortal Kombats. Now there's a few different versions of the game and each version has a few distinct things about them. But I'm gonna stick with the N64 version because that's the one I'm most familiar with. The N64 version contains nearly every character and a lot of fun cheats. I've talked about this one before, but did you know you can actually just play Pong if you wanted to? At the battle menu, just press left C twice, up C four times, and right C six times on both controllers, and... You have reached the outer limits of the tournament. Now you both must face a challenge from your past. Oh man, that sounds intense. Oh. If you put in this code here, you'll unlock some fancy menus, some of which will let you unlock new characters, have infinite continues, and even eliminate fatality time so you can practice all your favorite moves. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a fatality. Just gotta get positioned for it, and almost got it. One hour later. Oh yeah, here we go. Three hours later. Nailed it. My favorite code to pull out on people, though, is the Mataro code. Mataro, being an endgame boss, is usually not a character you'd be able to play as. Unless you have those other versions. But if you're on the Wasteland level, which is incidentally the first level in the rotation, if you hold low kick, high kick, and back at the same time before the game starts, your character will burst into flames and turn into Mataro. You can do this for Shao Kahn as well, but Mataro is way more fun for stuff like this. Yay! There's a lot of cheat codes where the sole purpose is to just give you money. A lot of resource systems in games are based off money, so content's locked out to you as long as you don't have enough. So you have a lot of money cheat codes, like in Warcraft 2 you have glittering prizes, or Starcraft you have show me the money, which will get you a lot of resources so you can go kill people. Yay! Another one people seem to love is the 30,000 bell code from Animal Crossing. Take that, Tom Nook, you stupid. This time around, I actually went to my Facebook to poll people on what cheat codes they liked growing up. And unsurprisingly, a lot of those were money codes. But there was one that stood out more than the rest. And it goes by the name of... Rose. So I'm back in the original Sims, making a character called Derby Diglett. He looks like this. He's got a futuristic helmet thingy and a toga. Looking fly. And he's all moved into his new home. Boring. Let's be honest, this was how almost every session went with The Sims when you were growing up, isn't it? What starts out as the truthful and earnest life of a brand new Sim quickly devolves into cheating. Don't worry, Mortimer, I'll be there. Just, just give me a sec. Woo, after all that cheating, I think I deserved a proper home. This'll do! Just need some new decorations, and done. And I don't know why, but I gave him all this fancy stuff to play with. 
but he just picks up the newspaper and starts to read it in front of his $6,000 computer. So I think it's pretty obvious as to what a self-made cheating millionaire needs to do. Throw a party. And I'll tell you, it was a rager. I didn't feel like there was enough people there, so I hired a butler to come by. All he did was eat my pizza, though. And then, at one point, everyone got stuck in the bathroom. So I decided to make it a little bit more party-centric. Balloons. Mortimer still wasn't impressed, though, you son of a- Up next, we have some of my favorite games, the Age Games. All these old RTS games always have so much charm to them. I just never understood how the computer could be so fast. But what I really enjoy is the fact that the developers were always keen on having a little bit of fun. Also that noise it makes every time you do anything. My tribesmen have bonded together in their greatest time of need. Plus I got this sick ass sports car with a rocket launcher on it. Man, all technology is great. By bringing up the chat prompt and typing in Big Daddy in all caps letters, you'll get a pretty overpowered car that kills pretty much anything in one hit. At which point you can pretty much just casually drive around and destroy everything. Well, except for the deer. For some reason you still can't kill those. But no matter how great this cheat code is, there is another one that I think trumps this one. And for that we're gonna have to go over to Age of Mythology. Age of Mythology is more up my alley anyway because Greek mythology is awesome. Oh man, it's the crack, yeah. In the same vein as the Big Daddy cheat code, you can type in another phrase and get a really powerful unit. Except for this time, it's a bear wearing a Canada cape that shoots lasers from his eyes. Oh, I forgot to mention that he also punches things with monkeys. By typing in the phrase, Oh Canada, all of this power could be yours. I definitely wish more games did stuff like this, and this isn't even the only thing you can do in this game. You could spawn a huge guy that has a pitchfork and it kind of resembles the big boy mascot. And you can even spawn the majestic pink flying hippo, who has plenty of rainbow coming from his butt and showers things with love. Grand Theft Auto as a series has some of the best cheat codes in video games. Grand Theft Auto 5 seems to have a lot of really great stuff in it, but I'm kind of waiting for the PC version to come out so I can play with all my friends. So I haven't played it. What? Why you haven't... you haven't played it? <laughs> but what I have played, and a good amount, is Grand Theft Auto 3. Let me paint a picture of 2001 Grand Theft Auto 3 coming out. It doesn't have multiplayer and it's not the type of game that you would think of playing with friends. I mean, it's not gonna make any top multiplayer games of all time list. None of that. Doesn't have it. But what it did do is bring people together. And there's a reason for that. The cheat codes. Constantly we would sit around and input the cheat codes and just play until you die. Then you pass it along to the next person who tried to outlast them and be like, I could do better than that. And then, and then you die on like your own rocket or something and they just laugh at you? Grand Theft Auto 3 in particular set this entire thing off. Everyone knew two codes for Grand Theft Auto 3. Weapon code and tank code. Pass the controller, input the weapon code, input the tank code, last as long as you could last. That's just what we did. Get in a tank and cause as much havoc as you could possibly cause. Tank! 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 Pull! No, seriously, I can't get past this pole. The weapon code in particular is the one I think most people use. Not only that, but it's universal. There's a weapon code in every single Grand Theft Auto game. When it comes down to the sheer amount of fun I've had playing with a code, I don't think I can think of anything better than just sitting around with my friends, inputting the weapon code, and having a blast. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching my new video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot, or at least a little bit. If you like videos like these and want to show your support, why not click the like button and subscribe? And if you want to keep up to date on following anything that I do, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr... I also got a Patreon page after being asked to, so if you want to help out that way, that's cool, but don't feel obligated. And also, a quick special thanks to Harry Gator for your support over there. What? Someone said if you type the Konami code at the end of your YouTube video, something happens? Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Secret screen. This is the secret, secret screen. Ba da 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 da, secret screen. Screen, 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 screen. Click on my videos on the left or right. Secret screen. I guess this isn't really a secret screen.